these stories that um, that Fedra is part of, these myths, these Greek myths, these fairy tales, all that, have been told for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, through generations. I mean, this is a Euripides play that Racine took up in the 17th century and, and Ted Hughes has taken up, you know, in 1998, I think he, was, he wrote it. So it's one of the, these, these are archetypal stories that, that are about what it means to be a human being, trying to wrestle with the idea of what is the depth of emotion that we can feel, the, 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 the greatness that we think we all are and the nothingness that we are. So it's those sort of archetypal stories, I think, that always resonate. They resonate in a sort of subtextual way. It's our job when we put on a play like this to, 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 allow, to let the audience in, in a way, so, so they do see themselves. So it doesn't, it's not um, so as in the past story from the past, but it is a story for now. And so you have to start to look at... Um, what does it mean to be a woman now if we're looking at Fedra and that sort of world? So, um, you know, I think it's originally written for someone, you know, that honour is very important and she's a modest woman. But now we have to look at that those women who are those trophy wives, we consider what is it to be, the, the greatest woman is to be someone who, you know, uh, who wears all the great clothes and who has all the jewellery and looks gorgeous all the time. That's a great woman in our society. And and then what what does it mean when that woman is not doesn't match up to what is expected of her and, and that sort of um, chasm between those two, who you want to be, who you imagine the world thinks you should be and who you really are. Television works a lot on spontaneity, on things coming and then understanding a character if you do those long series. And um, television's great like that. You can see something in the street and use it in that scene. It's terrific. Theatre's got a different sort of um, energy and journey with it that you can, um, you sort of seem to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the idea and you rely on all the other actors, you know, what they're bringing and what the director can bring. And um, that's the pleasure of it, sort of just peeling it back and peeling it back and digging and digging and opening it up. And so when you do a classic, it's perfect for that. It's quite exhilarating, really. It's quite good to get that in, that you're able to do it in this sort of space. You know, you can do, you can cry, you can weep, you can yell, you can do it, all that sort of stuff. It's uh, therapeutic. I've never found doing theatre draining. I've always found it quite um, enlivening and exciting. So, I mean, it remains to be seen. I haven't done it eight times a week yet.